Hey everybody, Bat Merc here. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Wolvenheart number two. Uh, there's a few more of these out right now, but um, I just I just got onto the second one. It's a pretty cool book. Uh, spoilers ahead. Basically, it's about this um, organization called Wolvenheart, and they're they're this organization that travels through time, and uh, they have this um, they're, they're, they're monster hunters, and uh, there's this guy his name's uh, Sterling, and um, Sterling Cross, and he's like a Romani like a monster hunter. And he's going through time, basically fi hunting all these monsters and werewolves and stuff. And um, his, uh, the, the the main guy that's like heading the or uh, organization is Van Helsing. And in this book, they kind of do like a kind of like a cowboy spin on him. It's it's pretty cool. It's really gothic. And as I'm reading it, there, I'm starting to see um, more and more like characters that are from like you know like Victorian era literature, like you know, you know like Doctor Jekyll and a lot of the basically like the penny penny dreadful stuff. You know, Dracula, Frankenstein. Um, all those books that kind of came out around that. So, um, right here, this is the second issue, and this is the the character right here. This is a uh, Sterling, um, and Sterling Cross, and basically his uh, organization. Someone came in and like kind of, kind of like took everybody out in the last issue, and um, he he has like an adopted like um, uh, mother, and she has these visions, and she told him basically to come to this time to Buckingham Palace. So he's jumping off of Big Ben. And uh, the art in here is really cool. I like it a lot. Jumps down. This is a it's an indie book. It's called it's by uh, Mad Cave. I think the artist is uh, Alejandro uh, Geraldo, and uh, the writer is Mark London. And I believe it's the creator. So he jumps on that. Whack! Knocks that guy out. And the last issue had a pretty pretty epic fight with a werewolf in the beginning. And I like the way they set this up right here. So they show my big man, and then he's gonna go all the way through here, all the way down to Buckingham Palace. Just a cool little like idea. To, you know something different. He jumps on the uh, the horses. Yeah. He's like here. Have to hurry, Kisa, the woman who raised me. Risked her life to show me the way. I have to admit, my heart's beating surprisingly fast. I'm anxious to meet the person who strikes fear into the people. The finest I know. Is the queen in black really as menacing as they make her out to be? Or are Keisha and Van Helsing just two superstitious fools? Guess we'll find out. So he goes, he's basically breaking into, um, you know, Buckingham Palace. And at this time, it's the Elizabethan era. She goes in there and there's this, another character, Dorian Gray. So they, they, they bring this character into the storyline. I love it when they, they, they bring in all the old, like, you know, Victorian era, like monsters and put them in one story, like Penny Dreadful. That was cool too. I like the concept. I ain't gonna lie, one day I, I kind of want to do a story like that myself. Um, even Van Helsing, I loved Van Helsing. It was cheesy, but it was a fun movie. I wish they would remake that. I kind of like what they were doing with even, the, the, they keep trying to do it with the Universal movies, but they just keep bombing, you know? Like, I don't know. They did it with um, Dracula and Told, it bombed, and they did it with uh, The Wolfman, I think. They tried it with that, and it bombed, and then they did it with Tom Cruise to bring it into modern times, and that bombed. And I would have been cool with all of them, but they just, I don't know. Just people didn't, people aren't really into it, I guess. These kids aren't into it, and I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, this part's kind of kind of spooky right here. You just hear like a tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Your Majesty, my name is Sterling Cross of the House of Wolvenheart. Van Helsing is worried about you. So he goes up to her, and she's like tapping her nails, and you find out that, um, you find out that, uh, that um, basically, uh, basically, um, this is the Black Queen right here, and she's she's working with a uh, uh, Queen um, Queen Victoria, and um, yeah, uh, she's 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 actually a uh, spoilers Madame Bathory from Hungary. So that's another character too. They're, they're they're spinning in all these cool like you know characters that that you always see like in these books. And, um, yeah, she, uh, they have a little fight right here. She, um, yeah, takes a swipe at him. He spins around, slashes her, boom. <laughs> Looks like I'm not getting through to you. Let's try this again. The second coming of the Great Crossing will soon be upon us. Though I did not take part the first time, Slayer, I am here to finish what we, st what he started. So, yeah, and, and he's got this really cool cross. He kind of reminds me, you know, like, it's, yeah, it's kind of got that Castlevania feel, like um, a little bit of Vampire Hunter D. 
And that right there is like his, his like adopted mother. She's having these visions and, you know, saying that like Wolvenhard has once was once victorious. Slash. And we will be once again. Yep. And he's like this like he's kind of like a vampire, like part vampire, kind of part human type thing. Kind of like got that blade thing going on, you know. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool action. And then like again, she reveals. For you have yet to face uh, Elizabeth Bailey, the Queen in Black. So like they're fighting right there. And um, out of nowhere, Dorian Gray gets him. Gets him up from behind. Yeah, gets a little back hold. And um, yeah, then um, Tesla comes out. So you got fucking Tesla in here too. And he was actually working with Wolvenheart. And he takes him and opens these like portals. And he has these like little like orbs that take him to different time periods. And I don't want to spoil too much out of this. But um, he also had like a little like sister too. Uh, Sterling, the main character, Sterling Cross. And he goes through time and he finds out there's this girl that like raises him and helps him back to back to life, you know, and um he finds out that's actually her all grown up, you know. So yeah, I definitely give this uh Woven Heart number two. Two horns way up. I think it's one of it's it's a fun book. Once you start once you, once you start really getting into it, it gets even better. Um yeah, there's not that many I don't know, really, really books out like this right now, and it's basically like the same like it's the same genre as uh kind of as the book that I'm making right now actually this is my book too it's a butch cleaver it's a supernatural horror western similar to like something like this it's got little touches of uh you know like victorian era um architecture mixed with like tex-mex and lots of stuff like that this is my campaign right here i'm doing it on uh on indiegogo and uh if you want you guys could sign up for my email list um thanks thanks to everybody that's been signing up it's been really uh it's been a it's been a real you know pleasure to have a lot of people showing support for me um yeah, if you want to go and check it out, um, it's a uh, Butch Cleaver. Yeah, he's got the power to basically, um, he's got the power to uh, control bone and um, you know on a molecular level. So he uh, he weaponizes it and he can he can do all kinds of things with it. And that's his uh, that's his um, that's his bowl right there. And uh, this book is a it's a comic skate book, and comic skate is basically a, a network of uh, fans and creators of comics that um that are all about the um, customer service and uh, basically keeping politics and religion out of comics and just serving the fans. That's all it's about and uh, kind of different from the mainstream. And this book right here, this is a Rockabilly Road Trip. And this one, uh, this is a comic skate book. It's uh, live right now on Indiegogo. And it's got a few days left. You can back it. They got to get to the 2500. They're almost there. So if you want to check it out, it's, um, it's a really cool concept. It's basically about this um, dude that makes a uh, kind of like a kind of like a Frankenstein-esque type girlfriend and he could build like anything and he he makes like this really cool car called the Devil Driver. It's named after one of my favorite bands. You guys just really got to come check it out. That's that's the Devil Driver right there. It's got a lot of action. It's from basically fans of like Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, you know, like people, you know, people like Van Helsing, horror horror action, all that good stuff. So, yeah, come on. Come on over here and check it out and um, you know, always remember folks if, if you know if you like metal you like movies, you like brewskis, you like comics, then stop on by, you know, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for metal, movies, and brewskis. You folks have a great night. Thanks.